everybody, it's Eric Johnson, and in today's video, what we're gonna talk about is the entry arm. Do we throw it, do we keep it back, what is it? Well, in today's Quick Tip Friday, that's what we're gonna discuss. So one of the things I see a couple of mistakes, there's this mistake, throwing too much, which you can see creates rotation, and you can see this one where you're holding back too much. Those are incorrect. One causes deceleration into middle, and one causes you to be too rotational, which means you can't create that linear movement into the throw. But in today's Quick Tip, what do we wanna do? We wanna find that thing the window, we call that in our system and throwing chain reaction. We want to understand how the left arm is going to be staying, is going to be moving aggressively and staying long in the discus. You can see when I do that, how it creates automatic rotation. And then you want to see same thing in the shot. When we're going to be here, we're going to have a little bit more opening in the shot. And it's going to be again, probably a little bit more aggressive because we're trying to accelerate in a smaller ring, the implements here, and we have to drive down. So we'll throw up just two quick videos. Let's look at Daniel Stahl and let's look at Darrell Hill. Look at how the entry arm is going to be active and pulling them into the center and it takes them to pull across the ring. Super important. So be sure to make sure that you're not throwing the arm too hard, not keeping it back. Find that sweet spot window and you're going to see your throws increase bigger and faster. Thanks so much for watching. We'll see you next Friday. So what we're going to talk about is staying straight, the straight back. And so when I pull in, you're going to see this kind of thing. When we see a straight back or we bend over with a straight back and then an athlete pulls in, they're going to be flat on the foot. We have to know how to get coiled up and load over the drive leg, right? 